Hello everybody, this is Kyle Verspor from the BT Posties Plick team and I want to show you a great extension for Google Chrome. This extension is called Annotate and allows you to easily use your interactive display or touch screen to write, type, or draw on Google Slides while you are presenting. Most importantly, it saves your annotations on each slide and allows you to go back to them later during your presentation. So keep watching if you want to see how to get and use this extension. As always, please make sure to contact your school district to make sure this extension is compliant with your school's policies and any applicable New York State educational laws. All right, so we got to start off by getting the actual extension. We can go to the Google Chrome Web Store. Um, so you could search that up um, or just go to it. You could also just click extensions here. You're going to search up annotate. It's likely going to be the first one that pops up. Make sure the logo matches with earlier in the video. And then mine says remove from Chrome because it's already installed. You're going to want to enable or add to Chrome. Um, and from there, it will take a second. You just have to approve it. And then you'll go to your puzzle piece to find the extension. So here, all my extensions are listed. Some are blue, some aren't. So this is a pin. And if you pin it, it will stay up in the bar right here. So unpinned it. And to pin it, you just click it and make it blue. So then the next thing you're going to want to do is create your account. My account's already created. So it will ask you to sign in or sign up. So you can sign up. It's going to ask for some basic information, your school email address, your school's website, your name. You don't have to put your actual name. You could use an alias. And the other thing, I think it asks for your birth month and year. So for that, you can make it up. Just make sure it's old enough to actually be a teacher. All right, so let's take a look at the sample slides here to show you some of the basic features that come with the free version. So this is just a slideshow. And let's say I have an interactive board, a touch screen, and I want to show all the steps and model for the students on the screen. So before you start your slideshow, you want to click the annotate and then turn the toolbar on. This could be moved anywhere on your screen, depending on where you're standing. And then you want to hit slideshow. The toolbar will sit in the front and you can move that. So just like normal, if I'm on the mouse, I could click through. You could record, hide it. That's a floppy disk if you don't know. That's to save a trash can if you want to get rid of it. Um, a laser pointer feature is in the paid version. I don't have that one. This is just free. A pen, um, that's the color I get. All the other ones are available with the premium paid version. Um, a highlighter, eraser. Um, you could put text boxes. And then you could also have all these features in here. I won't explore them all right now. But anyway, we'll just go to the next slide. So here's one for math. If you want to show your students an example on how to graph, so you just switch to the pen and now you could write. I'm using a mouse, but this would probably be easier if you were to do this on a screen. But I think it's something like this. Obviously, I'm using a mouse. It's not coming off as a very straight line, um, but I think you get the point. Uh, if you have a keyboard or a clicker, you could just click to the next slide. If not, you're going to want to click the mouse and hit next. Uh, this is an example. You could you know, just leave space and this could be you modeling how to solve the equation. And then you can show all your other work. And then if you wanna do some English stuff and just annotate a text and you're looking for stuff, you could just put accents around it, stars, however you wanna annotate. So that's great. And the best feature, as I mentioned before, is if you were to go back to the slides, they're saved all your annotations. So you have some options now when you're done with your presentation. You could trash them and get rid of them, or you could save them. So I've done this a few times, so I'll just call this one 13, so I remember. My favorite number. There you go. Your annotations have been saved. You could hit got it, and then you can exit your slideshow and it's going to ask you if you want to keep or discard. So keep, they stay there. If I hit discard, they go away. So I see they're not on my slides. So if I'm going to do this next period, I could just launch my slideshow and I could do it all fresh modeling for my students. To access the saved annotations, you can go to annotate.net. It may ask you to log in and then just go to web annotations. And then you could find them. So I've done this a few times. Here are the slides. And we'll bring up that same slideshow, except when I go to present this time, 
my annotations from before will be there. So this also works. If you go and you hit the three dots, you can share and it will give you a link. And you could share that link with anyone who you would like to share your annotations with. They just need the same annotate extension to view them. Keep in mind that whoever you're sharing them with should have permission to use the extension just like you do. All right, well, that's the end of this little video about the annotate extension that will help you write on Google Slides. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Have a great day and thanks for watching.